If Neuralink has been marketed, would you like to use it? Neuralink was founded in 2016 by Elon Musk and his friends. As recently as August 2020, Musk showed off his new Neuralink machine and showed off an early version of the gadget he planted in a pig. This Neuralink machine demonstrates the ambition of grafting computer chips into living things. Elon Musk shows off a pig with a chip implanted in his brain. He wanted this chip to be used by humans too. The chip implant will allow a person to control a cell phone or computer with his mind. He also argued that this chip could later be used to treat diseases such as dementia or dementia, Parkinson's and spinal cord injuries. Back to the question, if Neuralink has been marketed, would you like to use it? Never will. If that I am. Judging from the idea that it offers seems innovative, in the medical science that I have studied, this does not necessarily give 100% success. I and its concept, Neuralink is created by means of brain to machine interfaces, which means automating commands from the brain to devices such as cell phones, televisions, and other technologies. This means you don't have to bother pressing the next button on Jukes or Spotify. You just think about it, and then the song switching will run automatically. Well, here is an important problem in my opinion. Neuralink is installed by performing an operation on the brain where a kind of chip will be inserted. Remember, this means that there is an operation where your head will be opened, your skull will be drilled, and your brain parenchyma will be attached with some kind of foreign object. Is it safe not? Doing something like this for Neuralink's purposes is risky. The brain itself has a blood brain barrier, or what is known as the blood brain barrier, which plays a role in protecting foreign substances that will enter the brain. Not just any molecules can enter the brain. Meanwhile, Neuralink will open it. Add insert foreign objects from outside and make contact with the brain directly. Pretty crazy, right? The illustration is that the mouse brain is even chip installed and tried to connect. Although this is an innovative thing, I still insist on rejecting it in the body because the risk is quite great. The risk of infection is quite large. The condition of the brain, which is always filled with fluid, will certainly make things easy to degrade. If it turns out that the Neuralink device is porous, it will actually harm the brain. This is a CT scan image of an infected brain. Of course, opening the brain house will increase the risk of entry of germs from outside. Plus the goal of Neuralink, which in my opinion is less urgent when compared to brain tumor surgery, which also opens the skull. Over